not even 400 days into office, and the governor may be just months away from facing an early election. One by one, boxes of recall petitions handed in today in Madison. Democrats say they have the needed signatures. Over one million people, almost as many people voted for Scott Walker in the 2010 governor's race, uh, think he needs to go. And Republicans are promising a fight. Voters elected Governor Walker to come in and make the tough decisions necessary to turn our state around. Balanced coverage of Wisconsin's unprecedented recall effort tops Fox 11 News at 9. Good evening, everyone. Recall organizers not wanting to wait until the next regular election in 2014 handed in a million signatures today. And that is nearly double the amount needed to force an election. Now, of the signatures that have been turned in, a little more than 540,000 need to be verified. It's a process that's expected to take more than two months. However, the board that oversees the election, the Government Accountability Board, says it could take even longer. The governor in a written statement said instead of going back to the days of billion dollar budget deficits, double digit tax increases and record job loss, he says he expects voters will stand with him. Fox Lemons Beth Jones has been part of our coverage in Madison today and Beth joins us live tonight. Beth, things wrapping up just a short time ago. Yes, earlier tonight, this place was crawling with recall supporters. Now, an actual election may not happen until the summer, but tonight, Walker's opponents celebrated, saying they're one step closer to the first ever governor recall election in the state. More than 3,000 people gathered at the Monona Terrace to celebrate what they call a historic achievement. Today is a day that we're very proud uh, of our state, that we were able to accomplish this task, uh, working with United Wisconsin and so many other good groups. We're very proud today. Uh, we'll take one day of celebration and then we're back to work tomorrow. Earlier in the day, recall supporters and volunteers lined a path as boxes and boxes of petitions were delivered to the Government Accountability Board. It's reminiscent of the, of the whole last year. I mean, people have either been in the street or quietly working, but uh, the the enthusiasm for this has never waned. And counting the one million signatures is no easy task for the GAB. The larger than expected number of signatures is expected to create even more work for staff. We have a big job ahead of us. Uh, we expect to review close to two million signatures that were filed today. I'm confident that we have the people and uh, the equipment in place to get the job done. Uh, we've dealt with a large number of recall petitions in 2011. Uh, but this is likely 10 times as much work. And those with the Wisconsin Republican Party say the work is just beginning as well. We have a uh, massive statewide volunteer effort that will be verifying these signatures. We have thousands upon thousands of volunteers throughout the state of Wisconsin who will be uh, verifying these signatures uh, in our field offices throughout the state. Despite the overwhelming number of signatures collected, Sparks says the party remains confident the silent majority is still alive and well. Our momentum is growing by the day and um, we're confident that Governor Walker will uh, uh, remain victorious in 2012. With signatures handed in, the GAB says it's taking extra precautions to make sure things run smoothly. And officials say that includes keeping the signatures secure. Uh, the petitions are being processed at a state facility in Madison. At the request of the Capitol Police, we will not disclose the location until all the petitions have been scanned. Kennedy also says once things are up and running, the public will be able to get a behind-the-scenes behind the view of the petition review process. He says the GAB expects to put up a webcam soon on the GAB website. Live in Madison, Beth Jones, Fox 11 News.